guys, Digimodels here. Still recording? Yeah. Music's playing, which is weird. Heading uh, to the breakfast taco burrito place. Gonna get the family some food. Um, this week was good um, for my day job. You know, not I didn't do a lot of uh, my side business, Digimodels. US. So go subscribe and follow and add yourself to my email list. I'll get you on the and go to Substack. So Substack.digimodels or Digimodels.substack.com. Right. So you can see all my videos I post. So I like I'll post to YouTube and I'll post a long form video content to Substack. So you know it's just an alternate platform. You know I'd really like to blow up on YouTube so I get paid right I mean that'd be great but you got to get you got to get up there so you got to be putting out you know quality content so still trying to figure it out working out this simulation algorithm we call IRL so <laughs> um, yeah so I mean I have ideas though like um, re like my uh, I just had the mail checked right and so some of it was advertising and one of it was like nothing really piqued my interest right except for um, and make sure the camera's not too far away from me. Mm -hmm. Nothing really piqued my interest except for the college courses that are becoming available soon. So, and I'm like, oh, but why Why does that pique my interest? Um, probably because it means, like, potentially more money, you know what I mean? Um, for maybe I could charge people for my services. Like, okay, so what I really want to do is become a real estate agent, like, on the side. Maybe sell a house or two, like, throughout the year. And then get that sweet commission because houses out here like a million. If you just get a, a percentage of that, I mean, what is that? So uh, ten thousand. Ten percent would be a hundred thousand. So ten thousand bucks for a little bit of work. I mean, on the side, that's not too shabby. So I mean, um, I still have a few uh, credits left from my GI Bill, Montgomery or post 9-11 GI Bill from when I served in the Navy. So. Um, I served 10 years and then I got out and so they have a program that if you invest like you know 1200 bucks in your first year you'll be able to take part in the GI Bill which is um, free uh, college tuition right and I'm like I'll probably never use this but let me invest in it anyway now fast forward you know decades later and I've got my master's degree in cybersecurity so you know n never think you're going to be somebody in the future that you know or don't try to think you can't be somebody in the future that you, you potentially could be, like, um, with my education. Because nobody in my family is educated. Many of my family drop out of high school. They're all in Texas. But, you know, I, I thought I liked I liked learning. I didn't care for the education system. But college made sense to me, you know. It's a business, right? So if you don't, if you fail your class, you have to, you, you just lost all that money you invested into that class. Like the book. You know, the, the materials, like if there's any online materials you have to get, the, the, the tuition itself is, is like over, you know, 1500 to three grand sometimes for each course. You know what I mean? So there's like, that's a, that's a heavy penalty. Like, if, and if you're like on a scholarship or something, like whenever, like if you're using tuition assistance at like a job or a company, like I was in the Navy, so they have tuition assistance program. That's exactly what it's called, TAP. Right, TAP for tuition assistance. But if you fail a class, you have to pay that money back to the government. And so, like after I would fail a class, I would receive a, a letter in the mail saying, "You need to pay us back right now." <laughs> and I'm like, "Dang it!" And so I mean that like took out of my took out of my check. You know, what I mean I didn't like that part. So you know, so it's a business, and the teachers are there getting paid. You know, sometimes it's not worth it, and that's why the colleges don't do so well. So, everything in America is a business. So, you just got to think of it that way. And then, in that way, what is it that you provide that differentiates you, that you give, like, a quality service or a quality product? You know, for me, it's Digimodels. So, you know, I can, I can integrate technologies, like cloud-based technologies, using Amazon Web Services or Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud, and then I can create websites pretty quickly not just that but the websites can be fault tolerant meaning that if one of the regions goes down 
the other one picks it up automatically. So visitors are rerouted in real time. You know what I mean? With minimum downtime to your website. That can be critically important. What if you have like a healthcare website and uh, people, <laughs> it reminds me of the Obamacare website that was a miraculous failure. If they had me, they would have did much better, I believe. But you gotta think of it, it's, it's complex. You have cloud databases on the back end. You have a front end that the user sees whenever they log into the website. Just a bunch of graphics and text, right? And fields that they could put in information. So, you know, everything has to be like connected correctly. And so that's what I do. Not just that, but marketing. Marketing and sales. I have to market material, the, the brand. I gotta, and I do that with social media. Right? And in advertising. People believe, oh, I'll just do organic. Right? Thinking that's the end all be all. That's free. People love free. Right? And free will only get you so far. For me, it's like 40 visitors a month. You know what I mean? That's average organic. Like across the platforms at that. So, whenever you run paid advertising, boom, you start getting like 10,000 views. Tens of thousands of views, like for every hundred dollars you spend. So that's like the algorithm, right? And then, so what do you do? Do you just put a hundred dollars on each platform? That doesn't seem. That seems like a pretty generic strategy, right? Optimally, you would want to tailor your marketing strategy to fit like where your target audience and market is. So if they're on Facebook, then go to Facebook and run ads on there like a lot. And then after the tens of thousands of people see it, you know, one or two or 10 might be interested and put in their information for you to call them back, okay? And so when they call and then they go to hold of me or the dentist or whomever, 